Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's how-to, we're gonna talk about large bearings and how to solve problems when it comes time to transport them or how to install them. And helping us out from Scheffler is our good friend who's been here several times, Jim Azalina. Jim, welcome back, it is so good to have you. Thanks, Tom. Jim, I'm excited because I'm over here looking to my right and I'm thinking what is a giant metal bearing tire swing, but I'm probably not right, am I? No, you're, you're close, though. <laughs> I'm <you> close. <laughs> could we use but it yeah, as a tire yeah. swing? Well, you, you could. Okay. You could. Okay, That's I right. like that. Yeah. Now, you know, Jim, I think we need to tell everybody, if we're ever going to be working on any kind of projects like this for bearings, installation, or transport, you always want to make sure you wear your PPE. Whatever right. it calls for, it could just be glasses, it could be gloves and glasses. Just remember, check. Whatever the project calls for, wear the proper PPE. All right. What are we talking about here to Jane? What do we what do we got? Okay. A common issue that people sometimes struggle with is how to safely, efficiently, and properly handle a larger bearing. What to do when the bearing you're working with is so big you can't pick it up and hold it in the palm of your hand. Well, Scheffler has come up with the perfect solution to this very common problem. It's called the FAG bearing mate. Mate is an Australia mate. Yes. Or, no, or bearing mate. mate. You're talking bearing about bearing mate. mate. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. that sounds pretty intriguing. I mean, this is definitely not a bearing you can hold in the palm of your hand. Right. Okay, so what do we got here today? Okay. Today we have a bearing here, and it weighs about 42 pounds, uh -huh. and the outer diameter is a little under 11 inches, so just about a foot in diameter. Okay. It's important to know that the FAG bearing mate comes in three sizes and can handle bearings that weigh as much as 1,100 pounds and have an outside diameter of up to 850 millimeters which equates to about 33 and a half inches or about three feet. That's a big bearing, Jim. Yes, sir. Keep in mind that in addition to large bearings, there are bearing types such as sphericals mm -hmm. and self-lining versions that can also swivel. This makes handling and installation that much more difficult, not to mention potentially unsafe yeah. and more time consuming because you have to deal with all kinds of different slinging arrangements, evolving straps and so forth. Yeah, I mean, that could be a real pain in the Sorry, right. we're not, we're not okay. going to say it's a family okay. show. Don't use that word in a video. Sorry yeah, about sorry. that, Jim. Okay, that's okay. All right. Okay. So let, let's look at how to use the FAG bearing mate. Okay. First right. of all, you want to make sure that you wipe off the oil and the grease okay. from the outside of the bearing. Can I do that for you? To make sure okay. you know it doesn't slip. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, we're good to go. And then the next step is to centrally locate the steel rings okay. kind of here. As you can see, we're centrally located. Okay. And then rotate the ends of the bearing mate's handles in a clockwise direction until the steel straps are firmly pulled evenly and in contact with the bearing. Gotcha. At this point, you want to make sure that everything is tightened properly by torquing the bolts to 14 to 20 newton meters, which converts to 10.3 to 14.8 pounds. So are you with me so far, Tom? Yeah, I was going to say 10.3 to 14.8. Those were my numbers, so I'm right there with you, Absolutely. Jim. Absolutely. You're great. <laughs> Now, since this is a spherical bearing, although this would apply if it were a self-aligning bearing and has a tendency to swivel, you want to make sure you install the included retaining brackets okay. by inserting them in the provided holes. Okay, like you this. do one, I'll do the other one. Okay. Okay. And then you just tighten this up right here. So I'm just trying to follow make, you. So you're like right sure on the edge of the bearing. Make sure we're in contact of the inner okay. ring. Okay. And then make sure we're not interfering here so that we can... Okay. Mount it in there. All right. Sounds good. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. And then using two equal length carrying slings that have a capacity of at least a thousand kilograms, which corresponds to about 2,205 pounds, you can pick this up, formerly unwieldy bearing, and rotate it in all directions using a crane, tow oh, wow. motor, or other lifting device without any worries. Wow, that's this pretty. This will be done here easy. with this simple setup right here. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Now that's what you would actually do is actually. Use that sling, bring it in. You've got that size. That's only 42 pounds, but as you said, it goes up to a ton yeah. for some of those bearings. But you would wheel that in on a crane, and that's how you would install it. That's correct. Ah. And then another one of the ingenious tool features that this has is you can place this bearing on an induction heater without having to remove the bearing mate, as shown in this photo right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Now Look let's just make sure that the bolts are still properly tightened on the bearing before removing it from the heater. What a great way to handle large bearings that don't have lifting provisions. Uh, excellent. Jim, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, it. Tom. Jim Azalina, he's with Scheffler, and uh, once again, another great idea. This is the rear axle assembly for a 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Oh, no, wait. Sorry, Jim. I didn't mean to, to say that. This is actually the FAG bearing mate. You know, I get those two confused. I'm just kidding. But if you get a little confused and you have any questions whatsoever about anything you saw here today, contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location and they'll make sure they take good care of you. 
And uh, don't forget, wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. Safety is always number one. Number two, look for more how-to videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.